Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Hand Guy Survives in the West. I am here in my base near Ribcage, Arizona, on Fred's Minecraft Survival Multiplayer Realm thing. And earlier, a few days ago, I discovered some very nasty goings-on in my base. See, it all started when I first encountered this new player on here called Ol' something other, something or other. I think Ol' Quetzalcoatl? I don't know. It's most weird. Anyway, he was being uh, most antagonistic um, and bothering some of the other players. It appears he's claiming to be a bandit. However, we don't like bandits around here. And that got even worse when a few, uh, just a few hours ago, really, um, it ended up being yesterday, but this is early in the morning, he booby-trapped my base with some TNT. Um, here's a picture of it. As you can see, there's a pressure plate there. I just barely managed to disarm it before he blew me up. Uh, I did not like that at all. And then I found he had stolen a bunch of my stuff, including my horse, and had broken my nether portal. So, as you can see, I've put up a uh, handy-dandy defensive system. I've been to the nether. That villain! Now my cows are gone, too! Alright, that does it. What? My horse? All right. Now, normally, Hand Guy would uh, designate the task of killing a villain to uh, someone else. But, since his cousin, uh, or my cousin, Hando Tabasco, is uh, known to be in town, if I sneak out and pretend to be him, I can exact my revenge on all who cares. I've received some uh, information on where his base may be. There's kind of a strange tunnel near my base. Apparently he's somewhere thereabouts. I'll have to go check it out. This tunnel... Ah. Die monster. As you can see, I've acquired myself some diamond goodies. Die skeleton. Collect them, goodies. Um, well, let's find that villain's base. And once there, I shall exact my revenge upon him. Yes, there's nothing I love more than exacting revenge. That, and, you know, having a nice, peaceful survival world where no one needs to. But uh, that will obviously not happen here, so it's revenge time. I do believe this may be his base. If it isn't, I uh, hereby apologize to whoever's it is. Uh, because I'm about to do some things to it. Yep, bet this is it. Does he have anything good? Oh, phantom membrane. Must not have slept for a while. Horses. One of those is probably mine. Villain. Once again, if this base belongs to somebody else, I am very sorry, and you can get free stuff at my shop for the next week. Except my shop has been blown up, so uh, may maybe not. But let's start by... Uh, see, he took a bunch of my stuff, um, including some stuff I got from my kit that there's no way to obtain in other ways in this world, like some horse spawn eggs. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to obtain some of his goodies. Don't know what one would do with the smithing table, but I might as well take it. And iron ingot, redstone dust. There. But of course, the most nefarious thing to do here is let's just obtain that. Don't need that string, or that bone, or that rotten flesh. However, I could use this pillager banner, because those things are awesome. I've already got two from pillager raids, but you know, can't hurt to have another. I uh, don't need red sand or terracotta. I'm going to ditch that stuff as well. Bone, string, how do you get back in my inventory? No, no, vacate, vacate my inventory. Um, anything else of use in here? Take the bottles, torches. Ooh, lanterns, I could always use some of those. Now, if anyone knows a better tool for mining lanterns than a diamond pickaxe, or, or a uh, less uh, overkill-seeming tool for mining lanterns, uh, 
Yeah, don't bother letting me know I enjoy doing it like this. Let's take some blast furnaces. I could always use some of those for doing ore things. Once again, if this is not all whatever, I'm very, very sorry. Now, I think I'll need to make a sign letting him know that it was me. Uh, hand guy, or rather, Hando Tabasco, my bandit alter ego, that has done this. So let's just get some raw materials. Oh, wait a minute, he has an axe, doesn't he? I'll just use that. Let's collect the old raw materials. Seriously, I am really sorry if this is not old, oh, whatever. I know I, I keep reiterating that, but it is still very true. Um, eh. He can keep some of his torches. And let's craft us a sign. Oops. I forgot, you need sticks for that, don't you? This town is only big enough for one bandit, and it ain't you. Hando Tabasco. Now, I need a new horse since he stole mine, so I think I'll just take this. Oh, it's on a lead. Where's that lead going to? Sorry, right, where's that lead leading to? Eh, break, break. That is a kind of cool look with uh, leads on fence post, fence posts, and I'm sure there is some great way to incorporate that into building. I have no idea what it is, though. Is this a water pond? <sighs> Can't believe that villain. Anyhow, this was uh, admittedly a bad thing that I just did. Don't try this at home, kids. Um, you know, unless someone does something really bad to you. Even then. Don't steal their horse and their lanterns. It's it's generally a bad idea. And I believe this is my tunnel here. Hopefully, by doing this, it will end this vicious cycle of revenge that's going on between uh, me and old whatever. I mean, I'm sure it won't, because that's not exactly how revenge usually goes, but one never knows. Maybe we'll end it once and for all. You know what? I'm just going to drop some stuff off, and then I think I'll go into town. Well, I've just dropped off, some of, dropped off some of the stuff. However, I don't want old Tabasco, or not old Tabasco, I'm Hando Tabasco, old Quetzalcoatl, or whatever his name is, um, to find that stuff, um, or for it to be too obvious I robbed him, despite my putting up lanterns and another uh, ominous banner. Is So I'm going to put some of the things like the blast furnace down in my secret underground bunker. Nobody knows about this, unless they, of course, watch this video, which they better not, but I happen to have a secret thing here just in case I need to uh, skedaddle. Yes, it's my bunker. You put one of these in a chest. I've got some spare armor, some golden horse armor, which I'm kind of loath to uh, put anywhere because, well, as you can see, my horse was uh, stolen recently. So I just close that back up there. Then up here, hop over to this, take some cobblestone and seal it. Oops. Take some cobblestone and uh, seal it right back up.
and nobody's any wiser. Now, into town to engage once more in the capitalist system. Well, I'm just heading into town, and, uh, well, once again, viewers, I apologize for my vindictiveness, but uh, it's in my nature. Anyway, we're heading into town, and it looks like there's been some serious development. After Hando Tabasco, my villainous cousin's uh, raid and massacre at uh, Fred's ranch, it appears Fred has simply put up a bigger sign and a bigger fence. But also, the town has really sprung up since last I came here. There's what appears to be some sort of... Who knows? Oh, a stable. How oh, nice. Uh, oh, man, that's a pain. There's a stable, there's a building with some ugly uh, cobblestone all over it. Saloon coming soon. I don't know. I'll have to hang out there once it's uh, in existence. Fred's General Store. That <gasps> what happened to my shop? It's been blown up. It's been looted. All the good materials are gone. Those villains! Well, I can't allow myself to have another outburst and uh, destroy old Quetzalcoatl or whatever his name is base even further. Yes, I will have to be cunning and exact my revenge some other way. Another furry shop coming soon. What's this? The Inca Gold Shop. -y. Three diamonds for 20 ingots? That is overpriced. That is a pain. Especially considering that gold is so useless. Let's see what's up here. I see a little sign. Courthouse. And there's something over here, too. You may notice I have this bad omen effect. It's because I haven't died since the last time I killed a pillager patrol. Those things are actually super easy to defeat. And uh, anyone who thinks that they're tricky... Um, the trick with them is to just line the pillagers up because they are so dumb. They will just shoot whoever is in front of them, even if it's another pillager. Now, let's see here. This is the mercenary that Fred hired to kill my cows. Nothing too bad up here, though his horse is gone. I had no part in that, and it's a shame. It's always a problem when one's horse is gone, as I'm sure I know, and, uh, well, old Quetzalcoatl may soon. Oh, I should have broken the other horse's lead, too, and stolen that. I mean, a horse wrestler. Anyway, there's not really much I can do. Let's see if Fred has any new trades. Leather, beef, TNT, leads. Listen, I it, it's going to be really hard to for other players to engage in this system as long as diamonds is the standard currency. Because it basically means you can't engage in it until you've already done a lot of mining and have gotten diamonds. And some of us do not have the time to make gigantic strip mines like what Fred has done underneath his base. So, um, Fred, if you're going to watch this video, I would really appreciate it if you would maybe uh, change the currency to something like gold. Uh, thanks. I know you, you probably got inspired by some uh, other YouTube series to have diamonds be the, the uh, gold standard. No pun intended. Well... Actually, yeah, pun intended, uh, there. But, seriously, it is a real pain, and I would, I'm, myself, and I'm sure a lot of others on here would greatly appreciate it if you were to change that. Thank you very much. This has been a public service announcement from your friendly neighborhood hand guy. Well, my revenge has been exacted. Back to, uh, normal-ish. As you can see, I put up these signs as well. No entry without a court-approved warrant. You will be sued. Of course, only as soon as the courthouse is actually built. Um, do I have all my stuff? Yes, yes, yes. That's a rather empty chest. Um, with that, I think I'm going to head down into the mine and uh, sign off. But uh, as I descend, this has been... Hand guy playing on Fred's realm, uh, engaging in revenge and banditry in the name of my evil cousin, Hando Tabasco. But of course, you'd know that if you watched the video instead of skipping to the end. Anyway, this is Hand Guy signing off.